greetings and <laughs> greetings and welcome to freedombookclub.com's book of the month announcement for June 2013. My name is Ferb and I am the managing editor of freedombookclub.com's uh, website and I you know, got a lot of duties as far as that's concerned but Let's get straight into it. Our book of the month for June 2013 is Full Asylum by Michael Eisenberg. Let me read to you a little bit about the book. It is a 374 page tome of fiction um, printed by Montefero Press. Here's a little bit of a, re a mini review from Karina Fabian of FabianSpace.com. Michael Eisenberg is a genius at political satire. Not just intelligent, but smart. He has a great combination of humor, from Abbott and Costello antics, to biting wit. It's an absorbing read with fun characters. Enjoy the ride as Gilbert goes from a Dilbert-esque existence to an adventure worthy of 007 himself. Man, it's sounds like that this is a very topical treatment of a subject which could be largely coinciding of Edward Snowden's case in the NSA leaking scandal. Anyway, so let's look at the voting totals, shall we? Um, with 59.6% of the vote Michael Eisenberg beat out the other, uh, the other books. Let's look at the totals here. I can't remember what F.A. stood for. Sorry. Oh, Full Asylum. <laughs> Full Asylum beat out the other participants received 253.102 shares with 87 responses, uh, beating out uh, two cheers for Anarchy, which received 150.4 uh, shares with six responses, which is excellent. Good for you, Michael Eisenberg, and all your fans. I hope that you guys will turn out and buy the book en masse during this month. Okay, and then when you are, after you buy the book through our affiliate link, go to Goodreads and add that or change it from Want to Read to, uh, to Currently Reading. Okay, so that's what that is. Now let's look at, now let's look at our four finalists. Our four finalists this month are Dying to Win by Robert Pape. It's the strategic logic of suicide terrorism. And then there is Planned Chaos by Ludwig von Mises. This is an excerpt of a larger book. Uh, Finalist C is Voluntary Islam and Other Essays by Davy Barker, or Davi Barker, as he likes to pr pronounce it. Sorry, Davi. Uh, and then finalist D is One Nation Under Blood by Taryn Lupo. So, I will read to you some reviews. Um, firstly, firstly, I will read to you the review or an excerpt of a review from for finalist A, Dying to Win by Robert Pape. That's right here. This is from jbullworth.blogspot.com uh, and I kind of like this. Uh, Bullworth, come on, let me hear you say that dirty word. Socialism. <laughs> so, another interesting point Robert Pape makes is that suicide terrorism is limited in its ability to achieve certain goals. That is, its coercive power extends only to those Western aims that are not essential to the West's survival. 
If Western interests are per peripheral to the suicide terrorist organization's goals, then suicide terrorism has been and may continue to be a successful tool for achieving the weaker actors' goals. However, if the goals of the West, such as the maintenance of access to oil supplies, are considered vitally important to the state's natural in national interests, the limited course of effective suicide terrorism may not be successful in driving the West out of the suicide terrorists' homelands. Pape's work is as much needed uh, is a much needed contribution to the quote marketplace of ideas end quote regarding the war on terrorism that until now has been sorely lacking both an intellectual as well as a political alternative to the current administration's set of policies. As is, as is evident in Andrew Basevich's The New American Militarism, Pape's analysis suggests that military power will be of limited use in combating suicide terrorism. America's leaders should begin to address this reality rather than continue to make stale threats about bringing the fight to the terrorists and relying on ever overextended military resources. As Iraq is demonstrating, our presence is generating as many problems as it is designed to cure. So thank you, Jay Bullworth, for your review. And uh, please don't sue us for using it. Uh, all right, so the next review is from Planned Chaos by Ludwig von Mises. So let me get over to that. Okay, here is a review from Steve Jackson, my good friend from California. Ludwig von Mises, I don't know if this is the same Steve Jackson, but Ludwig von Mises, 1881 to 1973, was the outstanding economist of the 20th century. He wrote three of the most uh, important works of social theory in recent memory, the theory of money and credit, socialism, and human action. In these works, he brilliantly set forth an Austrian analysis of free enterprise and opposing systems. In addition to the above reference works, von Mises wrote a number of shorter works pitched to a more general audience. Plant Chaos, which came out in 1947, is one of these. That time, and even now, people consider, quote, planning, end quote, to be scientific and modern. However, as von Mises shows, planning of this economy only leads to chaos, poverty, and violence. This is seen through a discussion of Marxism, Nazism, Fascism, and New Dealism. One of the best parts of this book is a discussion of the so-called, quote, mixed economy, end quote. As von Mises shows, an economy with large amounts of government control and intervention is not really mixed. The government control exists in a sea of freedom. This might seem like a quibble, but as von Mises demonstrated, a truly socialist economy is impossible because there would be no way to calculate prices. However, government intervention in the economy causes all sorts of problems, which inevitably leads to chaos. So, ultimately, the choice is between laissez-faire and statism. In addition to this, there is a good discussion of the economic nature of Nazism and replaces it similarities in, and its similarities to communism. We often hear that the big difference between Nazism and communism is that Hitler and his cronies believed in capitalism. Of course, this is silly. Hitler believed in a government-controlled economy, even if he left the price system intact. Von Mises defends defense of capitalism was based on utilitarian grounds. For different approaches, see the works of Murray Rothbard and Ayn Rand. So thank you, Steve Jackson, for your review. And we will go to our book review for this book. Sorry. I wish I had a producer. <laughs> Here we go. The book review for Voluntary Islam and Other Essays by Davi Barker. I have a review from Asif Shiraz, a customer from Amazon. Okay, a very engrossing, thoroughly enjoyed David's style of writings. Fresh. A lot of books on Islam that I had read came from outsiders' perspectives. In true in true universal spirit of Islam, this book gives you the feel of a true and patriotic American writing about issues that are important for Americans from a perspective which they can better appreciate and understand. 
In this book, I felt like Islam actually at play to solve real world issues in cultures and societies vastly different from that in which it was revealed. This is a wonderfully fresh approach to applying Islamic principles to American society, while at the same time evaluating Islamic principles from the society's norms and customs. In both cases, the author successfully delineates a lot of congruence of many common sense and common principles that both hold, but never knew that they do. Original. Also, I found a lot of ideas in this book that I had not heard before in Eastern Islamic literature. This is indeed another example of Quran 3620, which the Marabatun cite as process of enrichment of the core Islamic tradition through new and outside influences. However, perhaps because I am not a, quote, full libertarian, or maybe for simply being unfamiliar with some of the anarchist ideals, there are a few things that I would hesitate to fully agree to yet, but still, I can appreciate the discretion which this book takes, and I'm confident that further research on it will surely bring out brilliant new ideas and conclusions. Alright, so thank you to Asif Shiraz for your review of Voluntary Islam and Other Essays, um, which you contributed to Amazon.com. Okay, so, our finalist, final, our final finalist, final is D on freedombookclub.com is One Nation Under Blood by Taryn Lupo. This is uh, book one, The Sewing. Sorry about the close-up of my very bad part. All right, so Taryn Lupo's One Nation Under Blood, finalist D, and we will read a review from another Amazon customer, Elizabeth Marshall. This is a book that will scratch your soul. It is a dark and dangerous look at a world where children are, quote, milked, end quote, for their life-saving blood. Sounds far-fetched on the face of it, but you know, reading the story in the comments from the author at the end makes you realize just how possible such a scenario is. I have children of my own, and this book frightened me. I was compelled to keep reading it, even though the idea was repulsive and terrifying. The honest truth is that I finished this story in a matter of hours and now can't stop thinking about it. I feel as though I've lived through some sort of apocalypse. I'm actually su suffering survivor's guilt. How can that be? It was just a story I keep telling myself. What was it? I took the author up on his offer to research some of the content of the book. He was right. Such things have actually come perilously close to being reality. Could yet go on to be. I don't want to ruin the plot, so I won't say much more about the actual story, but I will tell you that this book is honest, it is incredibly well written, gripping, and entertaining. It will make you cry, and it will make you laugh. There is an easy flow between the characters that mimics real life superbly. It is impossible to read without connecting the lives of the people in it, and you will finish this book wanting more. Bravo, Mr. Lupo, on an absolutely brilliant story. I recommend this to everyone, including my teenage sons. Read it, my friends. It will be, make you think, what if? All right. So, thank you to Elizabeth Marshall for posting that review of One Nation Under Blood Sewing uh, from the Kindle edition uh, on Amazon.com. And we, I encourage you all to go to FreedomBookClub.com over here. Go to choose which will be our next book of the month, right here. And that will take you over to here. To our survey, and you click on one of those choices. Then you put in your email, send any suggestions, hit vote now. And I'm not voting, so don't take whatever I clicked on as an indication of where I'm gonna be placing my votes. Uh, then you can be included in all of our marketing materials and then go out and buy the book of the month once it's announced. Uh, and I appreciate you all for being here. Uh, go out and buy Full Asylum by Michael Eisenberg by clicking on our affiliate link right here. Paperback is a lot easier to get onto the top 100, so click on that. Click Add to Cart. If you're a Prime member, you get free shipping. And then proceed to checkout. So, thanks so much for joining us. And we had um, 
I'm ambient music from a Salt Lake City group called Hidden Truth, which I think you can find in all of our books. Thank you. We'll be seeing you.